Hello and welcome to patching video. Um, this is, um, I, I just want to show you how the console interacts with patch a little bit and maybe um, be able to give you a little example of the power that the light board has if you patch correctly. And, um, uh, and so I just want to, I just want to show you what it can do and introduce it, even though we haven't I haven't introduced the light board yet that's going to be in the next unit and you're going to learn a lot more about how you control it but I'm just going to flip over real quick and I hope this works let's go over to a patch screen right and so this is the way the patch screen is laid out on the console and there are other training videos about how we do all this and how you assign it ETC does a far better job at it than I will so I'm going to turn you over to their capable hands via YouTube um, but this just gives you an idea so these are the console channels and then these are the addresses for the fixture and this is the type so this is just a, a fixed focus light you know just a regular old source 4 that's um, uh, connected to a dimmer as we move down the list you'll see that channel number 11 occupies addresses 2, um, uh, universe 2, addresses 1 through 3, right? And the PARs are all patched, and everything is patched separately. Then we have a solo frame, which occupies 47 DMX. It's a moving light, 47 DMX addresses. So now let me show you a little bit about what this does, and I'll just toggle back over here to this screen. Right? So over here I have a visualizer, right? Which we're going to be playing with actually in the next um, in the next couple of classes. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit backspace clear and I'm going to say one full enter, right? And look, hey, that's channel one and it's focused on um, this um, body that is downstage center. I wonder what two is focused on, right? It's on that person, three full enter right and four full enter right so those look like specials that are on our four band members right and I have control over them you know I can dim them up and down I can dim that out I can bring it up if I want to select one through four enter sorry I'm a little slow on my keyboard but they all respond just like a regular old light right that's all it is so now I wonder about some of these fixtures that may um, have other parameters and let's take a look at them. Now remember it was all patched as just one channel, right? So let's look at channel 11 and let's say full enter, right? So channel 11 is here but look we've now changed in addition to an intensity parameter I now have color parameters, right? Now the green was at full. If you'll notice all of the colors right red is over here and then green and blue all the colors are at full to make white light and by pulling various colors out I actually change the parameter now I can also click anywhere within this um, color picker and I can pick whatever color I want whatever saturation I want isn't that fun and the light board does all of that translation for us just by telling it the address that it is the type of fixture that it is, and the operational mode that it's in, right? So let's go ahead and look at the rest of our, uh, some more of our plot here, right? So 11 through 18 full enter, right? So I have all of these washes here, and I can click it, and I can make the whole stage whatever color I want. Yeah, isn't that cool? Great. Let's go down and look at a moving light, Neek Enter. Right, so I just did a sneak on that, and now let me look at channel 31. 31 full enter. Uh-oh, it's just a little dot of light. But now look at everything that's over here. Now I have all of these options as I scroll down. I have all of this stuff that I can play with, right? And so the very first thing that I want to do is why don't I see if I can find my zoom right and let's set our zoom to max right maybe we'll come back in from that a little bit we'll make it a little smaller instead of going max right and then I can adjust my edge I can make it sharp or I can make it soft I can play with the edge of that fixture okay so now it is a moving light so we would be remiss if we didn't make it move here is the pan and tilt controls and I can tilt it it's a little weird getting used to which way it moves 
but I can tilt it up onto that back curtain. I can put it over here, where's my person, right? And I can put it on our figure right there. That's great, fabulous. So now that's our moving light. Let's go down and see what else the light board has already done for us in regards to um, being uh, having patched it correctly. Look, I can also take this fixture and send it into whatever color I want. That's super dark blue, back towards white. Maybe we go towards a yellow, we go towards a sunny yellow, maybe less green. Okay, that's fine. I can also go here. It also has some preset colors, some color chips, right? And in moving light class, we'll talk a lot more about this. But for right now, just know that there are some there are some colors that are independent of this color picker. Note that it's not changing this color picker. I could go to yellow and add red to it and it gets deeper, right? Just saying. Let's go to open here. I'll go to home on my color. What if we went down? I wonder if it has some built-in texture. Oh my gosh, it certainly does. I can go ahead and put in gobos. I can put in a variety of different gobos. And if I go back to my edge, I might be able to focus that a little sharper on the floor. Right, let's go back. Oh, there it is. That looks pretty sharp on the floor. What if I were to put it up on the curtain so that we could see better? Right, so there's a gobo on the curtain. Let's go down and let's see, we've got other gobos here. There's a circle, there's rainy lines, there's that funny little gear, there's that triangle, rectangle, uh, whatever breakup, right? So we can put in different gobos. So the long and the short of this is that um, uh, patch allows the console to provide us all of these built-in menu options and everything is already laid out for us and all the diagrams are already there and everything is set up for us if all we do is give it its DMX address the fixture type right or device type and its operational mode then the light board will do everything else for us okay so that's an example of the power of patch and why it really is the backbone of your design. It is what's going to allow you to actually do your work as a designer, as, an, as a technician, um, in the easiest possible way. And that's what I have for now. Talk to you later. Bye.